This is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at a free update to the UV mapping toolbox. I've added a ton of new features to the toolbox, so let's check it out. Okay, let's jump right in. So to launch the UV mapping toolbox, click this button here. If you're not familiar with the toolbox, I'll put a link around here so you can watch all the previous videos. This is an update video, so this will be like the third update to the toolbox. Every time I do an update, I'll add new features and buttons to the tool. Showing every button is out of the scope of this video, so I'm just going to go with the new buttons that are in the latest update. The toolbox incorporates all these standard functions that you need to do to get your UV mapping done in a matter of seconds, as well as a bunch of custom tools I've developed myself to speed things up even faster. On top of that, the UV mapping toolbox takes up a fraction of the interface space than the Maya standard tools, so you can get stuff done a lot faster. Definitely check it out if you haven't used this tool before. It makes doing UVs really fast. Okay, so first up, we've added the new buttons here and here and here and here. So first off, we have the spin. So this was a request uh, that somebody wanted in. They wanted to be able to not have to go through the menu. They're already using this tool, so they wanted to have the spin UVs. It was a great idea, so I added it in. So I mean, it's straightforward. Select your UVs. This guy spins left. This guy spins right. And of course, this supports custom pivots as well. So if you hold down the D key on the keyboard and hold down the V key on the keyboard at the same time, and then drag this guy to snap to any one of the UVs, for example, this guy, and then release. And then if you spin it from there, it will use that custom pivot point to spin both uh, left and right. Then we've also got flip U. So just come over here, flip U, same thing, flip, 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 flip. Supports the custom pivot and flip V, same thing, vertical, 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 vertical. And again, you know, whatever pivot you want. So you can flip from the center or you can flip from a custom pivot. To demonstrate the next tool, I just uh, duplicated this thing over here just so we can have two UV shells so we can see what we're doing. So the next one is a move by one. So this is really helpful if you want to move a UV shell just over, up, down, whatever, by one. So it moves exactly one shell over. So you can go left, right, left, left, up down, whatever you want, right, right, right. And it always comes back to exactly what your original UV layout is because it's always going by one. The nice thing about this tool as well is that it works on a UV shell rather than having select all the UVs. So if you just click one, any one UV on there, you can just go straight to moving it and it's gonna start moving. It's gonna grab the whole shell for you. So you don't need to worry about going like, oh, I gotta do this, whatever. Just literally grab any one of these things and start moving it around, up, down, whatever. Just move that guy back. Boom, done. And then the cool thing about the move section here is if it's in its default mode, it'll move the shell over by one or whatever. But if you turn on the align tick box here, it'll convert the tool into UV align mode. So if you want to align these guys to the leftmost UV, that'll be this guy down here. Turn on align and you just go boom. Oh, cool. Okay. Align those guys. Maybe I want to align these guys to the rightmost UV. So you just click right. Same thing. And then uh, it's also got the like up and it's got the down. And I didn't end up including a button for align to average because it would just, I thought it would be ugly and it would be a lot of buttons or whatever. So what I personally do, I don't need the button. And what I would do is I would come over into the scale options and I always turn this on, just double click that guy there and then go into this guy and turn on prevent negative scale. I think that's off by default. I always turn this on, it's super helpful. And then instead of having to have like a custom button or whatever, or more junk in the interface, if you want to scale to average, it's actually really easy. You just select the UVs you want. And because we turned on the prevent negative scale, you just drag and then boom. So it'll actually prevent it from going down. So I find this actually quicker than using the interface. So I built the maximum ones in here. Like if you want to go down, do that. And if you want to go up, do that. If you want to go left, do that. If you want to go right, do that. If you want to average, just scale. Okay, and for this next part, I just switched up the model here. It's just two quads, just so it'll make more sense. We could have done it with the other model, but this will just be a lot more clear what the tool does. So we talked about how in move, it moves the shells and in align, it'll align the UVs. And if you're still in align mode, if you switch to UV shell mode, it will align the UV shells. So if we select both of these guys here and we align left, you get that, right, you get that, up, you get that, down, you get that. So this can be really handy as well. You can do whatever you want here if you want to align the shells. And then if you switch these guys to 
UV mode and click the same thing, click down, it'll go down. And then in shell mode, click this and whatever, I can't go down anymore, but if I click left, it'll align that way. So pretty cool, like multi-function button, only four buttons, but it does three different commands. And I also wanted to mention, I got all these tools working in object mode as well, which uh, is not the way that it works in the default Maya. So a lot of these tools just don't work if you're in object mode and you click like move or spin or flip or whatever. So I got all these working. You don't even have to have any UVs selected. You can just go left, right, up, down, whatever, left, right, whoops, down, down. And then here, I'll just go back into object mode, select it. So you can flip these guys in object mode and you can flip that way, whatever. And uh, you can even spin in object mode too. Uh, so just a little bit improvement on the regular workflow there. Okay, next up, I had a couple of requests from a couple of different people. They wanted to have the measure tool included. If you're not familiar with this tool, I've added in here right here, it just says measure. And you click it and it launches this Maya tool. And what you do is you select two vertices and you click recalculate. And it tells you the pixel distance, depending on what map size you might plug in, it tells you how far apart those are in the U distance. And you can see in the V distance, none because they're parallel or whatever. And uh, this can be helpful for calculating texel density and UV padding for uh, your projects. I've got a whole video about what kind of padding settings you can use if you guys are interested in that. If you click the button while the window is open, it will act to close the window. So it's a toggle. So open, close, open, close, open, close. As well, I think the default tool required something silly like you had to have some UVs selected or it would just crash. So I made my version of the tool work if you have nothing selected, it will launch the tool. If you have object mode selected, it will launch the tool. And if you have some UVs selected, it will also launch the tool. So just kind of fix up their little bug there. Okay, just switched up the model here again. So uh, for this guy, we've got some overlapping shells. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but these guys are like a more thick blue because they're like overlapping. We've got some overlap here, here, and here. And then this guy, this guy, and this guy are all unique. So I've added in these two buttons here, gather and ungather. These are super cool, actually. The ungather one, um, it took me a little while to figure out how to get it working. And the gather one is kind of a pretty much similar to the gather that ships with Maya. So what ungather does is it's going to take any of your UV shells that have overlap, and it's going to move those over into their own individual UV space. I'm just going to click that. And boom, so you can see all those guys were overlapping. So your UV layout is not going to change at all. It's just going to move these guys out. And this can be super handy for if your baker doesn't support overlapping UV shells, but you want to share texture space. And then something like Substance Painter, which requires overlapping UV shells, if you want to be able to paint on them, you can click Ungather, and it's going to do all that, whatever, do your bake, export your stuff. And then you can just click Gather. And boom, it brings it all right back perfectly. And this can just almost be like a toggle. You can go gather, ungather, gather, ungather. Or if your UVs just get really stressful, sometimes I'll open up someone else's model and it's just like there's a million shells just sitting on top of each other and I can't even see what I'm doing. Don't really want to use isolate selection because it's kind of more involved. I've got to select some shells and blah, blah, blah. It's kind of a bit more of a hassle. So I just made this button. And it's just like, boom. Okay, cool. Now I can see what's in the zero to one. I can see each shell that's overlapping like individually that can relieve a lot of stress in your uv mapping daily work and save you some time too and then the cool thing about this is it will work on selection as well so if i just wanted to regather this guy for example and just do that one i could just do this one or maybe i want to regather these three guys it'll all just go back perfectly to where you want. And so whatever, I can ungather everything all together, or I can gather a bunch of these guys, okay, do those guys, or whatever, just click it again and regather the whole thing. So it's pretty flexible. You can also ungather selection, of course, as well. So like, let's say I just want to do these guys, you can ungather just those guys to get rid of that. And this also works on shell. So again, you don't have to get your perfect selection. Oh, it's kind of annoying. It's kind of messy in there because this is going to be overlapping anyways. Just need to grab one component of each overlapping shell, if that makes sense, and click on gather. And boom, there you go. And then same thing when it's going back in. You can just grab those guys and, and boom, there you go. So I actually find this super handy for a bunch of different applications. If you've already purchased the full script pack or the UV mapping pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the UV mapping pack, or you can get it in the full script pack. So take your pick.
Thanks a lot for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have a remarkable day.